Alrighty guys, that's all my ends weaved in except this uh, very top one which I like to crochet over first before I weave it in. Personal choice again. Um, this is where we're going to start our kaleidoscope. Ah, oh, the exciting part. Alright, what we need to do, I'm going to focus on this part because we've got our stitches there. You need to make sure that you have an even amount of cluster sets along here. Alright, so let's have a look. You've got your corners right there, yeah? And you've got one, two, three, four plus a set. So that's even. So now you just take the two off there, take the other two off, and that is your center. So what you're doing is you're looking for your center space, go all the way up, and you find your center space, all right? But I find it's easier just to do this. Take those two off, those two off, and there's your center space. Pop your stitch marker in there, all right? Now, color change. I know, right? Pretty exciting. I love color change. I'm using the yellow. Okay. Now, where we put our stitch marker, that space right there, you count three back. One double crochet, two, and on your third one, right in a double crochet stitch, not the space, but the stitch, you're popping your hook. So you go one, two, and pop your hook on that third one, grabbing your loop of your new colour, pulling it through that stitch. All right, just take out that stitch marker. Now you don't need it there. That was just to show you your middle. Okay, and it's safer to do that than, you know, do the whole thing and then realise you're lopsided. So pass your little tail end over. All right, and now we are chaining one. Nice tight chain there. And a single crochet in the same space. And a single crochet is pop your hook in that stitch, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. All right, just giving that thread a little bit of a tug. All right, now pop that at the back. Now you're just going to start off with a double cluster set in your very first space you come to, which is here. Your double cluster set is your three double crochets in the middle. I know we're doing it in the middle, but that's how it's going to work with a peak. So two, oops, two. And three, chain one and two, and then three double crochets all in the same space. Two and three. So what you formed is a tiny little peak right there. All right. Now you're chaining one. All right. Now we're going to do the same here. We're going to go back three all right that stitch there counts as one so one two jump into your third stitch with a slip stitch and that's just pulling a loop through and pulling a loop through like so then you're chaining one and two and you are going see that stitch there you're going to count three over but that chain is a stitch that's one two and right in that middle stitch is your third one so you're popping a single crochet in that middle stitch like so so that's how your work should look okay now we are turning our work and see not the first space that you have there but that second one right there you're going to pop two double crochets in there so a normal double crochet one and another double crochet two now included with those chain twos that's classified as one cluster set all right chain one corner you're doing your normal corner in there so you're three two three simple one two and three chain one and two and one two and three now what do we usually do when we get to a corner we chain to get out of that corner yeah all right now we've got a space right here before we start jumping over and doing slip stitches and things. So you're going to put three double crochets in that little space right there. So go ahead and put one cluster set in there. One, two. Usually I would bring up, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring up the arm. Okay, see that thread right there? I'm going to crochet over it. I'm going to pick it up like I did with the square here and I'm going to crochet over that stitch one two 
and three. However, see that end? Just pop it, just pop it through this side. Just get it and bring it through because that's the back. All right. All right, three. Yep. Chain one. Now, once again, you're going to count three across. You're skipping that chain right there. One, two, and in there, all you're doing is a slip stitch. And guess what, guys? You're going to cast off. Pull up a loop. All right. Almost sounds wrong, doesn't it? But it's right, trust me. <laughs> all right, so there you are. Now, normally you would turn your work, so you're still going to turn your work. But now you're going to grab your very next colour. And mine is the grey. All right, so grab your hook. Now, make sure you did turn that around, by the way, because this is now the new start. All right, so you are officially in that second stitch there. Now, you, what you have to do again is count three back. So that stitch is already taken. So you go one, the chain is two, and that stitch right there is your three. Okay, so I gotta grab your thread. Whoops, is that too close? Sorry, guys. Grab your thread, pull your loop through like so. Yeah, pulling your thread over again, locking it into place. Whoops, chaining one. And then, of course, you are doing your single crochet in the same space, like so. Making sure you give that thread a little bit of a tug there. And pop that tail at the back for now. Now you're just going to jump into the yellow, that space there where the yellow is, and do your three double crochets. However, you're going to crochet over this tail. Jump into the space, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two, and you are working over that tail. Do two more. So you're doing your normal cluster set in there. Okay? Chain one to go into your next space pop that tail at the back jump into your next space now you've got another space to get into it's growing now two and three double crochets chain one jump into the corner with your three two three and you can tell the corner because it's really pointy too easy simple simple chain one and two and three double crochets chaining one let's bring that out a bit now because you can see what I'm doing here popping it into your next space there one two and three chain one now, before you go uh, jumping over to your number three, you still have that tiny little space in there that you need to pop in three double crochets between your yellow and your blue or whatever color you're using. Pop in your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. All right, here we are. We are at the area where we are going to slip stitch into the third stitch now being careful here that stitch that yellow there is actually in this stitch so you're counting one you're counting the chain two this is why i wanted to do this one first then you're counting the top of that chain three from the row before as a third one all right so slip stitch into that one there if you're not on this section here and you're over here just make it your very first double crochet all right if you're not on the uh, chain section where we are all right so it's chain one two and three now before you turn your work just pop your stitch marker in that third stitch right there you'll need that for later i'll explain that later turning your work oh, if it's in your way might actually be in your way but pop it at the back there and in that space right there, you are putting two double crochets. So what you actually will have, once these two double crochets are done, you will have your three double crochets, including that chain stitch, all right? Chain one, and a cluster in your next space. 
one, two, three, chain one, not forgetting not to chain those ones, one, two, three, chain one and two, and one, two, and three. Chain one, because we're jumping out of the corner. Yep, jumping straight into your next cluster set with your three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one and another cluster set in that next space. One, two and three. Chain one. And now you have your last cluster set space here. You're going to put a cluster set in there, but you're going to crochet over that tail end. Now you don't need to, if you find it easier to leave it there, by all means leave it there. But yours truly is crocheting over it. Okay. One, two, and three. I know that's a bit tricky, so a lot of people don't like doing that. And especially since they have to actually pull that thread back through. Now we are, believe it or not, we're at the end. And you're thinking, what, are you sure? Mm-hmm, I'm sure. Okay, so what I want you to do, leave that a little bit loose, pull up a loop, make it a little bit longer than your average. Not too long, but just maybe a couple of centimetres, a couple of centimetres, a couple of millimetres longer. So you've got a nice long tail, leave it loose. Because we're going to take that undone later. And you're thinking, what? Mm-hmm, we're going to take it undone. All right, you're thinking, that doesn't make sense. It will. <laughs> <laughs> so turning your work over so what you have is that all right so turn your work and this is where we're starting remember what we did before we got our double cluster sets and we went one one two two we popped our stitch marker right in the middle there you don't need to it just does help the new the newbies out so there was there is your corner spaces right there your corners yeah one and two and there's one right in the middle all right now here we are there's our center we're going to go back three one two and pop it in that third stitch grabbing your yellow again i've moved it out the way and i can't find it here it is sorry oh dear can't take me anywhere <laughs> pop your yellow through pull the loop through like so passing your thread over and away we go chaining one. Oh, you can take that stitch marker out now And in the same stitch, you are doing a single crochet, like so. Just give it a tug, yeah? And then you are, oops, pop that down there, just jumping into that space with your double cluster set. One, two, three, chain one and two, and one, two, Oops. And three. Chain one. Yeah, that's what you've got. Skipping your three. Remember, this is classified as one, two, and your third one is actually your third stitch right there. You are putting a slip stitch in there. Yes. Chaining one and two. Now you're skipping three again. That chain is classified as one, two, and the third one is the middle stitch right there. You're putting a single crochet like that. Okay, turning your work. Now remember this little space in here, we have to put two double crochets in there. One, and two. All right, chaining one. And in the corner here, you're doing your corner space. One, two, and three. Chain one and two, and one, two, and three. Remembering to chain one in between. 
and right in that space right there that empty space you're going to put your three double crochets again you don't need to do this but i am crocheting over the tail so pop in your three double crochets which is one two three whoops just going to grab that tail and bring it forward again it's always ends up at the back there all right just giving it a bit of a tug chain one and remember this stitch right here is already filled up so you go one two and you slip stitch into that space right there pull a loop through and you guessed it we're cutting all right now before we continue if you wanted to let's turn it over and get it ready for the next row so your next gray row will start here if you're not sure it always starts where you where you just ended off okay this is what I do and a lot of people I don't know whether they do the same but this is what I do when I'm doing a pattern like this I will do all my yellows first then I'll come back and do all my grays the only problem is if you're new to crochet that can become a little confusing for you not sure where you are at what time so best off just doing it this way for now once you start getting a little bit more professional you can do that okay so for a lot of the um, uh, intermediate crocheters now if you wanted to go ahead and do all your yellows come back and do all the greys with us all right if, if that helps okay but in the meantime we're going to continue on with our very next color just a little tip there if, if you um, are a little bit more advanced and if you're new and want to try it that way too, by all means, all right? So now what are we going to do? We're going to count back through it again. That stitch is filled up with our yellow, but here we go. One, the chain is classified as a stitch, two, and you're in that very first stitch as your third one. Okay, grabbing your grey, pulling the loop through, and grab your little tail end, popping it forward like so. Oh, that's not the right end. Hello, Mary. Wake up. Where are you? <laughs> the wrong end. This is why it pays to weave in ends as you go. <laughs> Chaining one. All right. Single crochet in the same space. Just giving that little tail a tug there. I'm popping it at the back now. All right. What you're going to do, you're going to put your grey set in there. But see this? We're going to crochet over it. So there you go. Double crochet. One and two and three okay let's pass that tail at the back now chaining one remember that chain one doing a cluster set in the first one that you'll come to just one chain one double cluster set there that's three double crochets chain two three double crochets this is where the magic's going to begin soon, guys. One and two. And you're going to do it again. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Okay. Ooh, making a mess here with my yarn and everything. Oh, dear. Jumping into your next space with your uh, double crochets. One. Whoops two and three chain one now that little space in there you're going to pop your three double crochets in that space one two and three chain one now remember what we do here that stitch is in there so we count one the chain is two and that little stitch right there is three and we're slip stitching all right because we are chaining one two and three now remember this we pop our stitch marker in for the next section not for now because we're going to use another side for now we'll, you'll notice that in a minute so you're turning your work like normal if you don't want to put your stitch markers in you don't have to it just helps me okay we're putting two double crochets in that space because the chains will act as your third one okay 
chain one. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Wow. Not the end of the blanket. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. All right, here we go. Chain one. Jump into your next space. And I'm trying to rush now because I want to get to that exciting part. That's the part we like. Two. Well, that's the part I like anyway. <laughs> Three, because it closes everything up, doesn't it? Chain one. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. I'm sorry, three double crochets. <laughs> Wake up, Mary. I'm really, I'm too tired now. I've had enough. Chain two and three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one. And then the cluster set in your next. Oh, I should slow down, shouldn't I? Sorry, guys. There's your three double crochets. I get excited, I start going faster, you know. <laughs> Chain one and a cluster set in your next space. One and two and three. Now remember we need another cluster set. See, we've got your one, two, three. And you need to have one, two and three. So normally I would chain one, which we're doing, and I would grab my tail end and pick it up. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to leave it there. You can do that later. I just wanted to show you this next step and I didn't want that to be in the way. Two and three. Now this is the end of our grey row. Remember we chain one and pull a loop through and then we cut it. We're not going to do that here, okay? Because this is why I asked you to put your stitch marker in. Here is where we join it, okay? Now, ordinarily, I would have asked you to weave in all these ends first because I just didn't want to confuse you, but we're just going to try it anyway. I found it easier to do this um, on a table, right? But for now, because I'm showing you, I'm just going to come across. We need to join this to this, and I know it looks like a big gap and it's not going to make it. Trust me, it makes it, okay? And it works better on the next round, but I'm going to show you anyway. All right, so you've got your working end here. You've got the, the stitch marker there. You pop your hook in that stitch marker. It's probably best to take it out now. It'll just be too awkward to work with. All right, okay, grabbing your working end, your working yarn, pull your loop through and pull it through the loop on your hook. Now, don't let go yet. Just flatten it out and just give it the flat look. If you pull it too tight, that's going to tug and pull and lift up and everything. If you leave it too loose, it's going to be no good. So make sure you've got a decent tension there before you pull up a loop and cut it. All right, there you go. And you have joined that together. Now that's that's the wrong side of your work. If you look at the right side of your work, that is what it looks like. That's what you'll have. If yours is like this and it's sticking up, it's too tight. Loosen it up a bit. All right? Just make sure it lays flat. It, if it doesn't lay flat later when you're ready to work with it, it'll turn up like this. Now, it's not going to stay like that, guys. It just looks like that for now. So when we do our two rounds of our next colour, we will stitch that and that together as one so it'll hold it into place it just looks that way now all right and that's why here i said leave this loose because when you do this corner you're going to attach that one to that corner and when you do this corner you're going to attach that one to there all right so what we're going to do now we're going to turn our work and do exactly the same thing how cool is this i'm loving 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 you know I love it because we discussed it already on our lives. For those of you who have not seen our lives, our lives are on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Melbourne, Australia time or Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. All right. And we can have a little chat about how we're going with our kaleidoscope blanket. Now, there's our corners again. There's our two and there's our two. If you want to pop your stitch marker, you can. I'm not going to for this one. I'm going to be daring. <laughs> <laughs> count back one two and three and there you go and away we go we're joining our yellow chain one a single crochet in your first the same stitch that you're in sorry 
give your little tail a tug. Oh, you're an expert now, guys. <laughs> Pop it at the back. <laughs> Pop in your double cluster set there, which is your three double crochets. This is too close, guys. Sorry. Three double crochets. Chaineth one and two. <laughs> Did I say chaineth? <laughs> three double crochets. That's why I talk when I'm not online. <laughs> <laughs> Chaineth. <laughs> I go very um, Shakespeare on myself. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, I had three. Oh, dear. Chain one. All right. Now, here we are again. We're going to count back by three. Uh, there's your stitch. One, two, and there's the third one you're in. And you're doing a slip stitch in there. Okay. Chain one and two. Now remember we are skipping our stitches. There's your first one. Remember the chain I said that you're going to skip before? Skip one, two, and you're jumping into your second one with a single crochet. All right, turn your work. And now remember what we do here in that space? We put two double crochets, one and two, because those chains act as the third double crochet. Chain one, and then you are putting your one, two and three chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three all right chain one now you can jump into that space you can hold your tail up or not or you can whatever you want to do i am you don't have to with your three double crochets, one, two, and three. I'm just going to bring that forward now. Chain one. All right, now here, once again, we are counting three over. There's that sink, that chain stitch right there. One, two. And you are right in the middle stitch there with a slip stitch only. Pull up a loop, you're going to cut your thread. Now what you're going to do is turn your work, grab your grey and start again. All right, and what are you going to do with this? Again, you're going to count back by three. That's the stitch you're in, so don't count that one. You go one, whoops. The chain two and that stitch right there is three. It's your very last double crochet in that section there. Okay, grabbing your little tail end, popping it over, chain one, single crochet in the same space, give your work a tug, and then you are jumping. Remember what we do here? Pop that at the back. Grab your yellow tail and you're jumping straight into that yellow with your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. Pass that tail at the back. And again, three in the next. One, two, and three. Chain one. And in the corner you put your three, two, three. I think you guys are geniuses now. What do you reckon? <laughs> See how I said it's really one, two? It is actually just a granny stitch, if you think about it. The whole blanket is granny. All you're doing is counting back by three. That's all you're doing, really. Uh, and the only way this will work is if you work on an even round, okay? Jump into your next space. chain one jumping into that space between your blue and your yellow or whatever colors you used with your cluster set oh dear I've split the yarn okay chain one now here remember this stitch here how there's already a, um, a yellow stitch in there you're skipping one 
two and you're jumping into that third stitch there with a slip stitch like that chain one two and three grabbing your stitch marker okay and there you go turn your work I'll bring that in a bit you are doing your two double crochets in that space there because your chains will act as three so you put your two double crochets in there chain one remembering to chain one guys and do your three double crochets in the next one two and three chain one and again get excited guys because we're about to join again two and three chain one and then you do your double cluster set in here one two and three chain one and two and three one two and three chain one again three in your next one two and three chain one again three in your next one two oh split that one look at that dear me two and three you know why i'm rushing because i want to get that top joined <laughs> chain one i just want you to see it again not necessary for you to do this i'm going to I'm going to crochet over that tail end one two and three now ordinarily we would chain one ordinarily we would put up a loop pull up a loop and cut but we're not going to have chained our one remember what we do here we're going to join to that stitch marker all right so just have a quick look at where your stitch marker is grabbing your hook placing it in your stitch marker or in the top stitch of your third chain if you didn't use stitch markers okay grabbing your thread pulling it through and pulling it through to the loop on your hook don't pull it out and cut yet until you sort out exactly how you want it to sit all right see that one's pulling up a little tiny bit but not much it will it will settle once we put that next round on just don't leave it too tight all right lift up your end give it a cut and leave it there for now all right and that's our second one our third one this is our last one wake up mary i can't even count how are we going to go if i can't even count grab your yellow isn't this exciting we're on our last one very very exciting all right so grabbing your yellow again let's move all this out the way and there is your corners your corners are there there's your two there's your two and that's your center right there going back by three one two and popping your hook in that third stitch right there all right i'm grabbing your thread should be a genius at this now yeah for sure you should know exactly how to do it but we'll do it together anyway that's what a crochet along is all about chain one and single crochet in that same stitch all right giving it a tug popping your tail at the back jumping into your next space with your double cluster set three double crochets chain two one and two and three double crochets super duper easy yeah and three all right chain one all right now see your stitches one two and into your third one with a slip stitch right there okay chain one and two counting one two and in that third one right there you are putting a single crochet that's your middle stitch turning your work 
doing your double crochet directly into that space there one and your second one two yeah chain on jump into your corner super duper easy yeah and three one and two and then doing your last three in that corner chain one all right you're jumping into this space here with a cluster set you don't need to crochet over the tail but yours truly is going to do that one two and three chain one so you're skipping remember that stitch is actually taken up right so you're skipping one two and into that middle stitch with a slip stitch pulling up your loop you're going to cut your thread pull that loop through all right so there you go that's what you have all right now if you're anything like me and you crochet over your end some of your ends would end up in the front I was going to use a hook but that'll come through easy just pop everything at the back okay that's the front of your work so you've got a whole lot of ends here you need to weave in eventually <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> that's a part of it all isn't it but how gorgeous does it look so far <gasps> love 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 already i'm loving okay so now we are going to start off with using the gray the gray the gray the gray again back to the gray this is the best part guys because with this when we do this one we're going to be able to join both sides best part all right so that's the stitch that we are work that we are already currently in you count one the chain two and jump right into that very first double crochet from the last set all right we're just going to grab our tail pull it through pull your tail over maybe not so much okay chain one single crochet in the same space just give that chain a bit of a tug pop it at the back and now we're going to double crochet or do our first cluster set in that yellow space remember and we are going to crochet over that tail one two and three drop the tail at the back chain one and get excited guys because we've got two rows left before we join all four points pretty exciting chain one and there's small rows too wait till it starts getting bigger the blanket <laughs> it takes so long to get around each corner <laughs> but it does look simply stunning guys it really does i swear by this blanket i really do <laughs> and if you use the right yarn it's not just it doesn't just look good it's nice and soft as well oh, what yes <laughs> chain one oh you can't take me anyway can you guys sorry i do get super excited over things don't i it's in my nature <laughs> oh, two and three chain one all right so you're going to pop your last set in there one two and three chain one all right now we are actually in this stitch here so we're counting from here one two and in that third stitch there you're doing a slip stitch and remember we are chaining one two and three whoops whoops don't lose your stitch like i just did grabbing your stitch marker if you want to it's just you know not compulsory <laughs> i always say that because someone says why do you use stitch markers a lot <laughs> turn your work and put your two double crochets in the same space one and two chain one and you've got another cluster set there one two three chaineth one here comes shakespeare again <laughs> i wonder if you ever said the word chaineth <laughs> two <laughs> Three. do you think he was a crochet artist <laughs> chain one <laughs> and you're popping your double cluster set in there 
two and three, chain one and two, one, two and three, chain one, nearly there, very exciting guys, one, get excited, two and three, chain one, one, whoops, whoops, how on earth did that happen? I looked away from the camera for a second. <laughs> One. <laughs> That's what happens. Two. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Relax, Mary. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Jane won. I can't get it right now. All right, here we go. You don't have to do this, but I'm crocheting over that tail. One, two, and three. Whoops, chain one. And just pull that tail forward. And guess what, guys? That's it. I got too excited, but I forgot to finish off. All right, so here we go. There is your stitch marker. You're going to pop your hook in that stitch mark make sure you change your one here yeah and you're grabbing your tail let's pull that stitch marker out it's so annoying now <laughs> all right pull your loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook don't close up yet make sure you're happy with the way it sits yeah pull a loop through get ready to close up Okay, grab in your scissors, give your work a cut, and there's your tail end there. All right, that's done. Now, guess what? Remember this? Remember this first one we did where we still had that tail end there? Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab our needle. I can find it. It's stuck under my board. <laughs> and just take that undone. Remember that stitch right there that we did? Take that loop undone. Okay, and if you're anything like me, normally I, I lose this last stitch, which I did. It uh, doesn't matter. I'll finish off this double crochet again. You didn't see that, did you? This is the third double crochet going in there. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't lose it like I did. Okay, chain one. All right, see there's your tail. Grabbing your... Popping your hook in there. Taking out that stitch marker. Grabbing your little tail that's already been cut and pulling the loop through pulling it through to the loop on your hook making sure it's not pulling too much pull up a loop just going to do that a bit and there you go all four corners have now been done turn it over it looks a little full because you've got all these ends which you are going to get rid of sorry guys <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, but you're going to weave in all those ends. That's it. That is the most difficult part of your tutorial. The easy part is going to happen right now, this very second. Get everything out the way. Grab your first yarn that you started off with. Mine is going to be the cream. Or you can use any yarn you like. I will be using the cream. And you can start in any corner you like where there's less ends now if you like you can weave these ends in first before you do this part but i want to just get stuck into it because i want to show you what it looks like when we're all together okay the way it works is you are uh, starting on the right side okay so face the right side to you grab your hook pop it in any corner you like it doesn't matter which corner and this is the real corners not the uh, <laughs> kaleidoscope corner any corner you like pull up a loop and you are doing your basic row of granny stitch chain one two and three grabbing your stitch marker if you like just to help you find your stitch later when you are joining to slip stitch and then we are going to put a double crochet in the same space one and two chain one and two notice how i'm crocheting over my tail and doing your 
three double crochets one two and three chain one pop that tail at the back you don't need that anymore fun part guys it's close up shop time this is what I call it closing up shop doing your cluster in the first space you come to chain one doing a cluster in the second space you come to two and whoops three chain one doing a cluster in the third space you come to one two and three chain one now when we're ready to do this this is what I meant before grabbing that tail end just popping it at the back you're going to work over that tail end as well as in that corner space so normally you would have just done a double crochet in your next space yes you're still going to do that however you're going to go around that space and the corner of your blue space so yarn over your hook pop your hook straight into that corner okay and I'm crocheting over the tail as well so it's double work for me here pull up your loop like normal you've got your three loops on your hook you're going to do a normal double crochet then you're going to do a second double crochet in there two and then you're going to do a third one and then you're going to chain one so have a quick look at what you've got there it's over both sections all right yes and then you're going to jump straight into your next space with a normal cluster set as though you are going along like normal two three chain one jump into your next set one two and three chain one your next space two and three chain one and your next one two three chain one and two finish off your corner with your three double crochets one two and three chain one all right let me just show you what you've done so you can see so notice how it tugs that tiny little bit I'm not too worried because we're going to be putting a row of double crochets around that as well with the cream so we're going to be doing a second row and that'll tighten everything up in the end anyways so let's keep going with our sets all the way across okay so your first set is there one two and three chain one one two and three chain one one two and three chain one and here we are at that corner right there this one's pulling a little bit more but that's okay grabbing your tail crocheting over it you don't have to if you don't want to jumping straight into that corner space let me get a nice close-up you can see where I go jumping straight into that corner space over all thicknesses so right around the corner right around the gray and you're doing your normal double crochet one two three set chain one all right so you're doing your normal cluster set as though we were doing a normal cluster except we're doing it around both the blue and the gray yarns all right so just keep going and going and going chain one One, two, whoops, 
so much for speeding, eh? <laughs> two. Oh, that'll teach me. Three. One, two. That's your corner. Three. Double crochets. Chain one. Jump into your next space. With three double crochets. Chain one. Next. Two. And three. Chain one. And next. This is the last one before our peak and our kaleidoscope area. Chain one. All right. Now, remember that area again? So nice and close up there. You can grab your tail end if you like. You don't have to. And we are going to work around all thicknesses, around the blue and the grey together. And there you go. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Jump right into your next one with your three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one. One in the next. Two. Three. Chain one. And into this next space. One. Two. And three. Chain one. And then you've got your double cluster set right there. Two and three. One and two. One. Two. And three. Chain one. And then you've got your three double crochets in there. One two, three, and three in there, chain one, three in your last one before your peak, of course, got a knot right here, look, <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's right towards the end. You get the knots, isn't it? <laughs> Two and three. Chain one. All right. And there's our little stitch again. This one's a little loose, this one. That's all right. Okay, pop that at the back. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to work for me today. Around all the thicknesses. I don't think I put a knot on that one. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> around all thicknesses doesn't matter I weave in so well <laughs> two okay and three chain one and before I go on I'm just going to pull that grey thread forward to the back okay and three double crochets in that space two and three chain one one two and three chain one and a cluster set in that second last space one two and three chain one and now we are slip stitching at the very top where that stitch marker is right there oh dear have i done that really tight <laughs> sure have oh but we're in that's good take that stitch marker out okay pull that loop through like so pull it through to the loop on your hook Oh, it's about to chain one, but we're not going to do that because we are doing another round of the white. So remember what we did in our first few rounds where we slip stitched across, slip stitch one, two, and straight into the corner, the three. 
chaining one two and three you can put your stitch marker if you like any color I just pick up whatever I can see <laughs> whatever I get my hands on <laughs> all right guys three double I'm sorry two double crochets because your chains will act as your third one chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three chain one and three double crochets in your next space one two and three I'm not going to do the whole round with you here I'm just going to do part of it chain one jump into your next this tutorial has gone on forever hasn't it <laughs> chain one and then do another cluster set in the next space two and three chain one all right now here's where let's pop that tail in at the back there here's where our um thick set is you know it's gone over the, the two of them so what you're going to do just jump into one before it just like normal and do your cluster set just like normal two and three chain one go into the very next space one two and three chain one and into your next set one two and three chain one I'm not gonna let you sit here and watch me do the rest of this row no what I would like for you to do all right guys that concludes this part of the kaleidoscope after this row right here that we're doing now we're going to start the kaleidoscope yet again finish off your row slip stitch to join cast off your thread cast it off when you finish this row slip stitch it cast it off weave all the ends in thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys do for me and all i can say right now guys is ciao for now Ooh. <laughs>